Hey there, it's Asia here from The Fluffy Hustle. And so um, I just figured out a, a way to create a, like a real drop shadow um, inside of Canva. I'm talking about the type of drop shadow that you would get um, inside of Photoshop um, on text. Um, and so here's the process that you would take. So let's add some text on here. And we're just gonna, I'll just type my name, Asia. And let's do this and let me make it larger so we have a good view okay and um, I'm just gonna change the color of the text to um, this pink okay so there's my name so what I'm gonna do and just as a disclaimer you do need to have the um, the pro version of Canva in order for this to work because you need to have a transparent background. So next you need to, so once you have your text and you like the way it looks, what you're going to do is you're gonna to go to download and you're gonna change the file type, make sure it's a PNG and you wanna make sure it's a transparent background and you wanna download it. Okay, so now you have your text here. So now we come back in and then you're going to go into your uploads. You're gonna upload an image. And I'm gonna go here, there's my file. Okay. So now I'm gonna click on my name. And so now this is actually a picture and Canva allows you to make adjustments to pictures. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do here is just so I can differentiate between the two is just change the color of this to black. Okay, just for right now. And I'm going to expand the picture to the size of this. Okay, that's about right doesn't have to be exact okay so all right so now we have our picture on top and you want to want to drag the handles in so I can actually um, access the other elements so I want to just make it tight around the picture okay so now we have the picture here now you can make adjustments what you're gonna do is you're gonna adjust your brightness and drop it all the way down to 100. Take your contrast all the way up to 100. You're gonna drop your saturation down to zero or, or negative uh, 100. So brightness should be at a negative 100. Contrast should be at 100. Your saturation should be at a negative 100. Okay, now that you have that adjusted, you can blur it. Okay, you can blur it and you can change your transparency okay so now that you have that in place you want to go ahead and change this original text back to this pink okay and i want to move this position backwards okay and i'm going to take now my shadow and i can move my drop shadow wherever i want it so this is a true drop shadow it looks blurred you can adjust the blur you can do anything you want to with it you can make it a harder blur a softer blur you can change all of that you can change the transparency do you want it super dark do you want it really light and faint you can now change it so that's the process you simply make your text into a png file with a transparent background re-import that text back into Canva and then that will allow you to make adjustments to the text and again the settings are simply you want to adjust your brightness down to negative zero your contrast up to 100 and your saturation down to negative zero and then you can mess around with your blur to determine how much you want to blur it out okay so that is how you make a real for real drop shadow 
inside of Canva. I hope you found this helpful. I was pretty jazzed when I kind of figured this part out. All right, have a great one.